everyone, this is Miles with SellerAmp and in today's video we're going to jump inside my screen and take a look at how to identify profitable opportunities to merchant flow products using SellerAmp and Keepa. Let's get into it. Here inside my screen we're going to take a look at a bunch of products that we know are being sold by mainly arbitrage sellers because there's over three third party sellers and Amazon isn't on the listing itself. So we know these products are being sold by online arbitrage sellers and we're going to look into identifying stuff that we can merch fill because merch filling is a big advantage I personally use in my own Amazon business and that's something I think a lot of people should do more, especially in quick opportunities that you can replenish quick and all that. So we're going to hop in, take a look in the Keepa and the seller app on a lot of these listings and just walk through whether or not we think we could go ahead and merge fill them. So uh, starting off this uh, product right here, we can see on the key, uh, on the seller app, the BSR is 30K right here. Estimated cost, you want to pay like 17, 15 right there. Scrolling down on the seller app right here, and we can see there's a lot of merch filled sellers with just action in the in the like the hierarchy of price. They're very close to being price competitive on that. Scrolling down on the Keepa, we can see here, head to data and then buy box statistics. This is a key. We're going to take a look at who's had the buy box for the last 30, 90, 180 days and see whether or not those sellers have been merch filled sellers or not. So we head to buy box statistics right here. And over the 30 days, we can see that the vast majority, like probably only right here, we can see so the people who don't have the check mark right here. So 2%, 2%, 2%. So really only like in the range of like 5, 6% of sellers have had merch filled exposure on that. So this is one that probably is very competitive FBA wise. We can see that it's very competitive FBA wise and it's being dominated by FBA sellers. In terms of if we head to offers right here, we can scroll over and see how long some of these uh, people have been on the listing, especially the ones that are FBA. Four months ago, 15 months ago, 40 months ago. So this is there's clearly an OA replan that a lot of FBA sellers and FBM sellers are taking advantage of. We can see on the pricing. But this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to go ahead and get merch filled buy box share on. So this is something I'd probably just mainly focus on FBA right here. If we hit the seller and actually go look for it real quick, Google Shopping, looking like, no, I'm not seeing the specific one. So maybe something's going on there. We can check out this next product. So it's Equate right here. The BSR is beautiful, tons of estimated sales right there. That's uh, amazing uh, right there. So we can scroll down and see all the action on the seller ramp right here. And this is one that's being dominated by FBM sellers. And um, this is a case where it's being dominated by FBM sellers. It's a very good chance to get the buy box FBM. But on the flip side, there's a good chance this is being drop shipped. So this might be a listing you want to stay away from. Obviously, depending on if you can find it profitably or not. But under a $10 buy cost, if you're merch filling, it's going to be difficult to be able to pay shipping on that competitive. If you were to FBA, right, small and light, um, or something like that, which we also have a calculator for on SellerAmp now right here. We can check that out um, as of the past week or so right there. And then let's say you were to FBM it for whatever reason, you could hop here. And then now within SellerAmp, you can add in your FBM cost, your sale price, um, all that right here. But we can see this one's being dominated by FBM sellers. There's a ton of price action on There's actually a ton of competition for it to be dominated by FBM sellers. There's a good chance a lot of them are just drop shipping. Head to the buy box statistics right here. And this is actually the only example I think I've ever seen of uh, pretty much everyone being FBM on a listing. And you can see how the average feedback on a lot of these sellers is a lot lower than like, you know, the typical 95, 100%, everything like that. So there's another good chance these are drop shipping. If we go to the 365 day on the buy box, just so we can see now we're getting a little, little bit more dominance from FBM or FBA sellers, but it's still pretty significant on that. Hopping over to a great value products, a great value to Walmart private label brands. So we know this is being sold by arbitrage sellers right here. Scroll down, we'll check out the seller ramp right here. And this is an example. So this is being largely dominated by FBA sellers for the most part, especially in terms of max price competitive can uh competitive not here. We can see the buy box, however, is a merch filled seller. So this holds true in terms of that this might be a potential FBA product as well as the offer count is way down. If we look at the year, the offer count skyrocketed in like late April and now it's way down compared to where it was and looks like some people are replenishing it or whatever right here, but hopping in the data buy box stats right there. We can hop in here and take a look and see that this one has some decent amount. I'd say like anything over like 15% of buy box share from non FBA sellers is a decent chance you'll be able to get buy box exposure and get sales as an FBM seller 
right there, so I don't mind that. Hopping in here, we can check out the last listing right here. So this is a Nike shoe that is a 34K rank right here, and we're gonna hop in and uh, probably make a video about variations as well in the future reading those. But if you go to variations right here, we can scroll top to bottom and see which one's moving the quickest. Right here is where these, yes, this is looking like it's these like tangents right here. So we can hop in here. These black and white size 10 right here. And this is another example. Just right off the bat, we can see the merch field. The buy box is a merch field seller as well as this is being dominated by FBM sellers. But we look at the feedback on here. These guys don't have tons of feedback. And this lab auto guy only has eight reviews and he's getting the buy box. So that's a good sign if you were to MF these in terms of shipping. Uh, shipping on these would be like eight to 12 bucks merch field, depending on what part of the country it was going to. So like, let's assume you found these for $40 or whatever in the shipping, or let's say like $30 because they're selling for 65. That, that fits up about where I'd like to be cost of goods to revenue perspective. Let's say you ship these for eight bucks. It's decent. And then 57% ROI, let's say they like go to California and are on the East Coast and let's say it's $11. You're still making 47% on that, especially if you're merch filled. The difference is that when you merchant fulfill, you ship the product direct to the consumer, so you pay a lot more for shipping, but you actually avoid those FBM, those FBA fees right there. So hopping in and looking at the buy box statistics on this, we can see that over 90 days, there's this one guy that is 5%, 2%. So this is a maybe, right? The merch, the buy box is merch field. I'm going to take a look at some of these other sides to get a sense of the general listing right here. And so there's no buy box on this one. And when there's no buy box, you can get whoever's just the lowest price gets the sales. And we can see this guy's pretty much in line to get the sales right here as a brand new uh, merch filled seller. Right here, I'll check like a seven and see what's good with this. Five right here, 25. So I would be, this one has a lot of competition for it to be a merch filled a bull product, but we'll see. 90 days, so this one guy is 17%, so that says it right there. That guy had a ton of reviews though, so this is not bad right here and then just textbook in terms of going ahead and actually reverse sourcing in here we'd open up some of the competition was this let's pull up yeah so the guy who was merchant filled right here check out what else they are moving air heavy on nike adidas all this kind of stuff columbia i'm not super familiar with is amazon on any of this okay this is interesting if we take a look at one of these keep it charts this is going to be an interesting example of seasonality on stuff and we can see that i bet the rank was a lot lower six months ago during the winter point exactly look at how low it got it's like 10k right there now it's um a lot higher this i could see being low competition and potentially mfable yeah so this definitely is if it's below like 15 hours it pretty much always is right here and if we see 90 day yeah so three percent right here 180 seven percent four percent four percent so that's not bad in terms of merch field ability on here and then going ahead and actually sourcing more of these using seller app it's the same thing right here just checking out these and then go and see what keep us make sense for you based on velocity and all that and then hitting the one click google right here and keeping it rocking and rolling on this in terms of going ahead and finding items so we hope this video was helpful for you guys we're doing at least one video a week on the seller amp youtube channel for now from now on so thank you guys for watching make sure you get a free trial linked uh down below in the description and we'll see you guys next week for another video keep on sourcing